and welcome back to week two, day two of Summer Steam. Today we'll be creating our own biodomes. Biodomes are artificial structures, which means they're not naturally occurring, they're man-made, that have a self-containing ecosystem or living environment, which means we're gonna to try to grow things in our biodome. This is going to be um, number one, right? Because number one, we're going to cut around here, right? Just the top off? I found a snail. Yes! An ecosystem is a biological community of interacting organisms in their physical environment. So basically, it's a group of living things that interact with each other in their surroundings. For example, a bird eats a worm that lives in the dirt. The bird, the worm, and the dirt are part of the same ecosystem. An example of a different ecosystem would be hawks and lizards and cacti in the desert. In our biodomes, we try to make a self-containing ecosystem by creating an environment things can live in without us having to take care of it. So first we put in the living things like a snail, a centipede, and a plant in our biodome. But how can we make sure they keep growing and don't die? What do you think all living creatures need? Well, the snail and the centipede need food so they can eat the plant. But what does the plant need? Air, water, sunlight, and good soil. How can we make sure the plant gets all those things? If we put our biodome in a well-lit area, poke a few holes or take off the cap, and plant our seeds in soil, we've already given our plant most of what it needs. But how can we make sure it has water if it's supposed to be self-containing? Remember, a biodome should not need us taking care of it or adding things to it all the time. 
That's why we put a large reserve of water at the bottom with the string in it. So the string actually carries water up to the soil and waters it. Then, after the water evaporates in the top part because of the sun and heat, causing condensation. If you leave the biodome out in the sun, eventually the plastic starts to fog up. Condensation also happens when you take a shower and the mirror fogs up, or when you have a cold soda on a hot day and the can starts to sweat. Altogether, the sun, the soil, the plant, the snail, the centipede, the water, and whatever else might be in our biodome, live together in the biodome and create an ecosystem.